That's good. Hey guys, Shaq here. I made some change to my pinions and gears over the week. I've done some slow motion videos and took some pictures and looked at some of the details and had some interesting things. First, there's a lot of bulging at the end of the teeth and those teeth are not involute, they are triangle. <laughs> You can also see the bulging on the escape wheel. It should be sharp angles like this, but it, the, the impulse face has that curve because the both ends are bulging out. There is some advanced slicing settings that can be done. They don't always work with all the older printers and it gets pretty complicated. The printing quality can be improved by slowing the speed so I went down from 60 to 40 millimeters and then can also be improved by doing the outer layer first before the inside layer and then I redesigned the gears with a radius at the head of the teeth that helps the bulging there on the gear and on the pinion. So I reprinted the gears both with a 20 degree pressure angle. And I did some, have some improvement. The force to move the gears went from 450 grams to 250 on average. On average 300 between 200, 300 400. Oops. So the 20 degree pinion between 200 and up to 400 grams of tension to get it moving, much better than the very first test. That was the first pinion, you can see the rubbing mark, and the close up of this video, you can see the end of the gear pushes at the root of the pinion. Second video can see the, the gear is pushed up by the pinion when it engages. Marks are more on the end of the teeth. Looking at those videos, how they interact, I also try, decided to do a 22 degree pinion. This is between 100 and 200 grams to move it. That's good. I think the 22 degree just on the pinion, not on the gear. It helps when the gears come together and then the gear pushes more at the root of the pinion at the end. And so that's the best meshing result that I got going down from well, over 500 grams to an average of 150 grams. So that was really good. So for my watch here, first stage from the spring barrel to that little gear in here, I'm going to do it in volute. Now this is a one millimeter module. This. 1.6 so let's see if I can I, that's how that how does that work I'll be more testing now this might still be some room for cycloid gears 
for the smaller pinion like this. This is 10, 10 teeth. So, and a lot of watchers even going down to six. So even more testing there. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.